Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Gemini. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Gemini, I'm doing your reading with three decks blended into one, so you'll see a mix of all three in your spread today. So we've got movement on the split. It looks to me, Gemini, like you are eager to make something happen. And then the nine of earth at the bottom of the deck, which makes sense. You're eager to make something happen, maybe because where you are is feeling a little bit funky or a little bit stale. Um, the nine of earth actually talks to me about um, people who are very empathic and maybe not realizing that they're carrying a lot of other people's stuff around. So that could be the reason why you're kind of ready to move or go or change is because there's a lot of other people's stuff blended in with your energy and maybe you're not perhaps you're not realizing how that is really contributing to your urgency to get on with things right i mean maybe you are maybe you are very very aware of that okay so overall energy from the um from the lifruma healing oracle for gemini Begin poplar tree. What is it? Begin poplar tree. Begin poplar tree. <laughs> Adapting to re relentless environmental stress. Uh, so, okay, so it's, it's talking about a, a new beginning, but also the strength of the roots, right? So that's what's making the poplar tree so um, hardy against all sorts of wildfires and environmental aggressions, right? So that's what it's talking about. So that's really interesting that that card would come up for you. Begin and poplar tree, because that seems to be a real issue in your reading today is that you're looking to begin something or to move in a new way, yet you've got this incredible root system that is actually holding you in place is what it looks like, right? So that's just kind of confirming what I'm already seeing in the cards. So we're beginning with the hollow bone teachability. It doesn't really have to do with the teachability energy I don't think what how it was coming through um with this seven of earth next to it it almost looks like a headdress especially because he's got all of this stuff going on up here it's almost like um trying something on putting on this headdress putting on a new hat right that's the thing wanting maybe actually saying I'm very teachable I'm open to change and adapt let me try this on for size kind of a thing, right? And we got this wizard of awareness coming next. It had this vibe of somebody almost kind of like going into a changing room, putting on this new thing and then coming out and standing in front of this wizard of awareness. And the wizard of awareness is leaning back and is very introspective about what he's taking in here. He's spending a lot of time kind of um, considering either his response or kind of maybe the consequences of his response. So it's like a lot is weighing on him. He seems to be a deciding factor. I wonder if the Wizard of Aware, I mean, he's coming through with a very kind of fatherly energy because there is the King of Earth coming up in a little bit too. I feel like it's the same energy and it's very much, especially in the King of Earth, this very fatherly decider, one who decides or one who assesses. The Wizard of Awareness could be an aspect of yourself, right? Kind of coming out um, with this new regalia or this new identity or, the, you know, putting on this new hat or considering putting on a new hat, trying something new, and then standing back and looking at yourself in the mirror, right? That could be what this is, looking at yourself in the mirror or some some higher aspect of you, perhaps like a higher self, or it could actually be <clears throat> somebody, <laughs> somebody you... Um, highly regard their opinion and so you're standing before them in a sense and saying what do you think about this I'm thinking about doing this what do you think and with the temptation card coming next it's kind of bringing in this idea of the root system right because the temptation talks about bonds or binds or attachments 
it is the devil energy, although it's not really coming through with that today. But what it is talking about, it almost looks to me like this wizard, <coughs> wizard of awareness <coughs> is looking at you wearing this this heavy headdress is what it's looking like, right? It seems like a big deal. It's a pretty big deal to take this on because it looks like it kind of weighs you down actually with the moon maiden and the new beginnings coming up next. There's that thing again too, right? It says begin poplar tree. There's this kind of tug of war between you and a new beginning and something that's holding you from your past, right? Some kind of connection to your past, some kind of a tie that binds, a bind that a tie that binds, right? That's what that's the saying. It's some sort of tie that binds you. And the more it's almost like the longer you're wearing this idea, the heavier it's getting, it's actually kind of pushing you down. And then the tower card comes next. It looks to me like over time, the burden, maybe the responsibility, the weight of it is put is tie, is tying you down is pushing you down and it eventually leads to a tower moment which i want to say none of this is actually occurring this is kind of like running the possibility running a simulation in a sense at looking at this all of it seems to be sitting here in this moment where you're just considering it or trying it on right it's like should i should i buy this should i buy into this should i invest in this should i take this on and this one here this wizard of awareness whether it's another aspect of you or it's somebody that you're standing in front of it's almost like they're the ones that have the ability to kind of see almost like they can see into the future and they can see immediately how there's something kind of pulling or tugging on you. And if you allow that tension, if you move in this direction with that tension, it's like, it's just going to pull you down, right? It's like, you can only go so far and then you start collapsing in a sense, and it will collapse in this tower moment. And so I feel like the wizard of awareness is strongly advising you to not do this now not at this moment. And then with the magic prayer and the three of fire coming up next, it's almost this, please let me, please allow me to do this. And this is why I'm struggling with who is, who is this wizard of awareness because who is, who has the authority to decide for you what you will or will not do or give allowance to you in order to move into a, a, a new direction. So that's why I, I want to lean towards the fact that it's likely an aspect of you because there's this plea. Maybe it's kind of like the universe. The universe is saying, it's almost like that um, guide with the staff, right? That comes in and is this tough love kind of energy saying, beware or be aware that if you proceed now with this, and it's not saying don't do it, it's saying if you do it now without dealing with whatever this is, it's gonna end in a tower moment, right? So he's saying be aware, beware of this. Be aware of this issue, be aware of this entanglement, and you're kind of shrugging it off perhaps and saying, but I really, really need change. I really want to, I want an adventure with the wheel of fortune and the world card coming next. It's like, I'm ready. It, it almost looks like uh, pleading your case, right? It's almost, it's actually a little bit like an adolescent energy saying, please, 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 please let me go. Please let me travel. Please let me experience the world. I'm ready to spin this wheel of fortune. I've got what it takes, right? Uh, this It's interesting because the three of wands talks about uniqueness there's something original and unique about me that means that i can pull this off i need to i need to explore i need to expand i want to take this risk right so it's almost like you are maybe just debating with yourself here right and with the first the first breath beginner's mind coming up next interesting because there's all this beginner energy it's almost like with this with this new beginning here and this beginner's mind it's like you're trying to, it's almost like override or replace or rewrite the future or the potential by showing what you can pull off here and now. It's like you are, well, maybe projecting your own future out and saying, well, this is, that's the interesting thing. Wizard of Awareness is saying like, you're not quite ready to travel this path. The Seven of Earth is kind of a middle energy, right? It's kind of a work in progress. 
it's a work in progress. And so if you try to travel this path now, it looks like it's going to get kind of jumbled or scrambled mainly because of this tie, this, well, the roots, right? There's some sort of a root and that's the thing. This nine of earth is kind of implying that that's the whole reason that you want to leave. There could be something connected to you that you're actually trying to flee or like you're fully aware that that is the thing that is kind of keeping you from expanding. And so you're wanting to move beyond that. See with this movement card here and then underneath that is the mindful and the, and the um, king of air talking about that. It's like you're saying, if I could just get out of this place or move away from this situation, I know like my creativity is going to expand exponentially. My mind will clear. So there is, does seem to be an awareness on your part that there's something almost like in your environment that is clouding your thinking or um, cluttering your emotional state and that the only solution is to move past it. But it's almost like Wizard of Awareness is saying, yes, but if you go now, you're taking it with you. It's not as simple as that. The path is not as clear as that because it's like you're walking this tightrope in a sense or pa passing over this obstacle course, but you've got all of this stuff that you're juggling, which is coming out as potentially in your mind. You have a lot of and these, it's interesting how the world and this first breath are both 21s. It's like, this is, this is your version of things. This is the wizard of awareness's version of things. It's like, it's not as straightforward as you think. It's more complicated or there's more, more is going to come at you than you realize something like that. And you're actually kind of saying, no, but look, look, I can juggle all of those things. It's like, you're trying to put on a performance or convince convince somebody that you've got this handled and it's actually exactly that there's something in that energy that they're seeing that they're saying that that it's like you're i want to say it's like you're not seeing it clearly or you're not being realistic about about your ability to juggle all of it something like that So with the King of Earth coming next, it's this very stern no, and this is where this father energy comes in, right? It's like you're very, kind of like really clearly your path is being blocked. And this might not be a somebody. It might not be a somebody who's saying, Gemini, you, you must not proceed or you're not permitted to take this journey. It could just be circumstances and events in your life that are just not allowing your passage, right? It's like all these blockages or walls are suddenly coming up. You're just not able to get going. So if that's the case, if it's coming through as circumstances that are playing out, that are keeping you where you are, it's like um, you almost, it's almost as if you can have a conversation with those circumstances or just um, look into them and see what the message is there for you. Because you've got the magician swords coming up next. It's almost as if this king of earth is handing you this magician sword and telling you to have confidence. It says have confidence in your magic. I'm not so certain about the word magic. It's just saying have confidence. Have confidence. The interesting thing is the king of earth himself or itself is very much like this poplar tree energy. And it's almost like... I almost want to say that the King of Earth, which could be the Wizard of Awareness, is the thing that is the tie that binds you. So the interesting thing is there could be incredible respect and honor between you and this individual or this situation or this energy. And it's almost like they're saying, you have to cut me out before you can proceed. Because your connection to me, it might not be to him though. Your connection to something, the roots, your roots are holding you steady. And so if you try to move with those roots unsevered, it's going to be uncomfortable or potentially disastrous if that's not too intense of a word, right? So the magician's sword is kind of saying like, you got to cut yourself loose. And that is a difficult thing to do. It's like you have to, you have to cut the tie that binds you. And that's the interesting thing. Ties that bind can be very beneficial or very desired connections, right? So there could be uh, that you have to 
You'll have to sever a relationship with somebody that you care deeply about, perhaps. But with the nine of earth, it's it's almost there's something like because you can't go in this direction connected to them or or having your stuff blended with their stuff. Do you see what I mean? Because something about the relationship or their energy and your energy is creating this like almost too much. There's too much going on. There's too much to juggle. And it's like you have to simplify in order to make the path clear or to have this clear mind, right? To have all of this clarity and inspiration be able to flow in because this seems to be almost like a mask to that, right? So I wanna say it's a, like the place that you are or this one that you're next to, which could actually be a father, right? That there's a strong connection to a father or a teacher. And so it's something like this. It's like you're asking to go or you're desiring to go. You're not taking the wizard of awareness with you, but it seems like you are in some form energetically. And they're saying, no, you have to, you have to, you have to cut this tie permanently in order to move forward. That's the thing. Maybe we're not talking about the Wizard of Awareness. Maybe it's not the energy that you're standing in front of having a dialogue with, but it kind of feels like it is. So that's the thing. The fact that you would respect them or like value their opinion enough to take this to them, but then at the same time, they're saying to you, they seem to be saying to you, even though I'm not going with you, if we don't end this or cut this connection permanently, it's not going to work out. You're carrying too much. Maybe it's something like trying to um, sustain a relationship at a distance because you're wanting to venture out into the world and, and try a new profession, something like that, or explore a new place. Maybe Wizard of Awareness, for example, cannot go because they because of their ties to a specific place or situation. And so it's like he's looking at you or they're looking at you or you're looking at yourself in the mirror, like I said, and realizing that it's like I got to end this connection or this relationship if I'm going to explore this aspect of life because I can't do both because they're not coming with me. So if they... If they aren't coming with me, but we still have a connection to each other, it's like you're going to be in both places at once. That's kind of what this is talking about, maybe. It's like you're trying to do too many things. You're trying to do too many things, and there's also this idea of um, the, the tie between you only reaches so far, and then it starts to pull you back or pull you down, right? Because because of that connection, it gets, it gets taut, and then it, it creates resistance, because it's con it will be constantly pulling on you. It's something like that. So it's almost like he's coming in here at the end saying, be brave, be daring, and cut this tie once and for all. Because if you don't, you can't really go. You can go this way, but it's not going to be what you expect. It's not going to, it's not going to like flourish in the way that you desire or know that it could. Because you're, it's like, because your mind will be tied up or your energy will be tied up. It's like this, this cloud of empathy or this cloud of other people's energy is just going to go with you. And that's what creates this. It's like it blocks your ability to perceive in each moment what step needs to be taken because that's the thing. It's like moving into a new terrain. You have to be incredibly present and sharp minded. And this is saying that you will not be sharp minded or not sharp minded enough in order to take the steps that you need to take you there was going to there's going to be a fumble is what it looks like or that's that's their belief anyway they do seem to i feel like have this ability to kind of project into the future or kind of like run out run probabilities or possibilities and it's like they're sitting here saying okay if you do this now as you are it's going to kind of it's only going to go so far and it's going to peter out and then you're going to kind of want to come back, right? It'll, it'll, I will pull you back in or something is going to pull you back in. But if you can have courage and confidence and cut out something that really has a hold on you, 
that you might not really desire to sever, but it, you know, which do you desire more basically the, um, the adventure or the expansion or the exploration or this connection. That's the interesting thing. It is a really tricky situation, right? So, and or, it's not necessarily talking about the Wizard of Awareness. It could be talking, it could be talking about a whole other character that is, that is unmoving. The King of Earth is an energy that doesn't move. It's the Earth, right? It's the Earth that you are rooted in, that is holding you in place. So it's like there could be an Earth energy, or like I said, it feels like this father figure or a parent or a teacher, perhaps. That you have to kind of like come to terms with the fact that the, that it's that energy that is holding you in place or that energy that is um, guaranteeing that you're going to have more struggle than necessary on this particular journey. I mean, perhaps you can come back and reunite after. I'm not seeing that. All I'm seeing that is if you want to make this choice and you want to explore this option, it's like you've got to have this final cutoff point with this king of earth in order for you to move on to proceed and it doesn't even feel necessarily like it's a big kind of heart bind thing it me it feels more like intellectual like like you know like this could be a teacher that is really kind of affected how you think or has taught you how to think Something like that it feels very cerebral and mind-based, even more than kind of energetic or emotional or definitely heart. It feels very mind-based. That this one's kind of got a hold on your mind in a sense, which is interesting because again, I'm going to say I've been talking about telepathy a lot recently. It's like there's this maybe a, te a strong telepathic connection with this King of Earth that makes you think the same way as them. When you're... Connected to them, you think the way they think. It's not that you're thinking their thoughts necessarily, but you think in the way, like you come to conclusions or you would solve a problem or put things together by the process that they showed you, for example, right? It's like you learned from them how to live life and you have to break free of that because where you're going or what you want to do is a completely new adventure that requires new skills or new ways of being. That's the thing about this three of wands that I was trying to say is about how it's talking about originality and being really distinct and almost like eccentric, right? It's like being really radically different. That's what this path kind of promises you that it's radically different and it requires almost like learning in the moment or knowing in the moment. And this King of Earth has a different way of going about it. So if you go, if you go, so it could just be like realizing that and opening your mind, kind of like opening your own mind and being like kind of being open to thinking about things in a new way. Not doing it the way that they do it. Okay. So that's the big thing. The way that they do it, if you do it the way that they do it or the way that they taught you, it's going to stall out. It's only going to go so far and then it's just going to run out of energy. It doesn't have to be a big tragedy or a big crash or anything. It just feels like it runs out of energy or it gets too kind of complicated and not worth it. Okay. So, but if you can kind of realize that and, and move forth with confidence in your own mind, and cut all of that out, like start fresh, start new. You do have all those new beginnings and the beginner's mind here. It's like, go with a fresh mind. You have to clear that mind space of whatever the King of Earth told you or taught you. Okay, so I'm gonna to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. If not, I will see you next time, Gemini. Thanks, bye.